Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister wives says Michael T, Cody Brown sold Coyote Pass? Michael T Brown of Sister Wives surely likes sharing trivia with her fans about the family. She has been giving followers small gifts on her and her husband Tony Padron's Patreon page lately. Despite being a sponsored platform, viewers appear to find her bits of knowledge about the Brown family worth their time. Michael T talked relevant information about Cody Brown and the former Sister Wives surrounding Coyote Pass on a recent episode of her Patreon broadcast. It seemed like the perfect dream to buy into when the Sister Wives family made the decision to acquire Coyote Pass. But after tensions between Christine and Cody Brown started, the family disintegrated in less than a year. The gulf between Janelle Brown, her boys, and Cody became more noticeable after Christine and Cody announced their separation. Then, as their argument reached a breaking point, Mary Brown started to second-guess her unwanted allegiance to Cody. This ultimately resulted in Cody and Robin Brown's monogamous marriage. Still, the Coyote Pass fantasy started to break apart along with the family's fractures, according to reports, Cody Brown, a star of Sister Wives, and his spouses initially paid $820,000 for the property. However, now that the union was breaking up, rumors about the land transaction started to spread. When Coyote Pass was first acquired in 2018, the intention was for each wife to construct her own house. According to reports from June, Janelle and Cody paid $340,000 for two lots in Coyote Pass. This came following their January 2023 breakup. They were allegedly $4,858.73 overdue on their property taxes in November, which put them in danger of losing the property. In addition, Cody, Robin, Christine, Janelle, and Mary have been at odds over the property divide, particularly after their several marriages have ended. Michael T. Brown discusses the selling of Coyote Pass in a recent webcast. She shares her belief that Coyote Pass has already been sold on Michael T. Padron and Tony Padron's Patreon channel. She proceeds with her conjecture even though she makes it obvious that it is only a theory. She adds that she hasn't received direct notification that the property has been sold in the interim. She claims, nevertheless, that her parents won't talk to her. If such were the case, it appears that Janelle, Robin, Christine, Mary, and Cody Brown would divulge this information. However, according to Michael T., there hasn't been any activity on the land in a very long period. Furthermore, Michael T. doesn't think anything will ever be done about the original dream the Brown family had before buying it. She says it once more, she thinks they sold the land already. Although Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, and Mary Brown don't always get along, Christine Brown expressed her happiness that her former sister wife, Amos Andrews, had found love. We also recently learned about it via social media. In a statement released on Wednesday, January 31st, Christine, 52, and her husband, David Woolley, told people that's how they learned about it. I'm merely pleased for her. I'm really glad for her. That is really fantastic. I'm so overjoyed that she can now have a love connection. It is an incredible thing to feel like you are loved more than anybody else, Christine continued. David loves me more than anybody else, she went on. He is the one I adore the most. Knowing that you truly have your one is a powerful feeling. David, 60, commented on the new relationship as well, pointing out that Mary, 53, and Amos, 55, seem to be happy. Christine said, well done to them. It's wonderful to discover love. Mary disclosed that she had fallen in love with Amos in January 2023, a year after she had officially announced her breakup from Cody Brown. On January 16th, the reality star posted on Instagram, birthday number 53 is looking a bit different for me this year, and might I say, I like how it looks. Introducing Amos, the attractive man I've been seeing since October. Though he isn't six feet six and isn't a pilot, he and I share a love of Christmas and laughter, two qualities that are crucial in a partnership. The single mother further clarified that she first kept their relationship quiet so they could get to know one another away from the spotlight. After thinking about the best time and method to share this exciting news and keep him to myself, I knew I wanted to celebrate my birthday in a unique way and invite you to join me in celebrating, she said. 
I think I'm off to a great start this year, and I can't wait to share more with you as we go along. Three months after Christine and David's October 2023 wedding, Mary announced her relationship. In a previous exclusive interview with In Touch, the mother of six raved over her wedding to David and offered advice to divorcees hoping to find love again. She advised those looking for love relationships to feel secure with who you are and know exactly what you're looking for. She began by saying, first and foremost, work on yourself. Christine went on, you really need to figure out what you want in a mate and in a partner. You must take the time to truly get to know yourself and allow the universe to fully open up to you. I would advise you to work on that because when the time is right, the right one will appear out of nowhere and everything will simply click. Since 2010, Sister Wives has been broadcast on TLC. And the series was kind of fun at first. An odd American family that preferred to live in secrecy rather than openness was featured by the network. Viewers soon discovered that families with several wives, like the Browns, were not uncommon in the state of Utah. And while most of us associated Cody Brown with the LDS and Warren Jeffs, he seemed rather normal, that is, until you realize that he had 18 children by four spouses. For years, the media has been overrun with images of government raids, but the Browns gave the Learning Channel a feeling of normalcy and allowed viewers to get their questions answered. Throughout the years, Cody and his four wives shared their experiences with job changes, legal rejection, moving, and organizing their goal of settling down in one place. Fans were, in my opinion, generally devoted to the show until rather late. The turning point came when Christine Brown decided to file for divorce and distance herself from her spouse. That was the moment when Cody's insensitivity as a human came to light. The show's trajectory has been declining ever since, and it's quite conceivable that season 18 was its final season. When Sister Wives first started, the main concerns were how to get out of Utah in the middle of the night and how long it took Cody to jog to each of his four houses in their cherished cul-de-sac. Those were very different concerns than those of season 18. Dramatic events like home births, weddings, and catfishing occurred in previous seasons. In the most recent episode, Cody was at his lowest, navigating a life with just one wife, the horror. The patriarch had managed to drive away everyone who had ever loved him, leaving Robin Brown, a monogamy hater, as his sole remaining choice. The other problem with season 18 was how unloving Cody was toward his elder kids. Seeing an adult choose to father 18 children and then deliberately disregard his oldest was difficult to see. I'm not sure if he was punishing them for their mother's departure, though. However, you understand there's a serious problem with their dynamic when you witness ground boys sobbing over a lack of affection, interaction, and parenting. To be honest, I didn't want to see the kids get angry every week while Cody kept complaining about how he wasn't at blame. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.